Mr. Forsyth, you claim that what's happening in Biafra is genocide and massacre on a very large scale. Yeah. What evidence do you have for this? It's mainly threefold. Partly my own eyewitness experiences. I followed the, uh, the uh, Biafran army very closely on a number of occasions. At one occasion, at Onitsha, I came across uh, 300 members of the Apostolic Church of Onitsha slaughtered by the Federal Second Division. Did you actually see these bodies? Yes, I helped clear them out of the road. The Biafran army was so shocked they wouldn't march past them. It took us 18 hours to clear the bodies out of the way. And they had all had their hands behind, tied behind their backs and had been shot at close range. On another occasion... Um, Did you count these bodies? Uh, personally, one by one, no. The estimate was 300. I think it was probably a fairly fair estimate. They were piled as high as a man's shoulder like logs stacked on the roadside. Uh, on another occasion, uh, a man whom I know was a, a photographer working for the Biafrans took a photograph very shortly after a village had been completely wiped out. And you can see still the bodies uh, lying around the market square where they were shot down. Secondly, from eyewitness sources, survivors of the massacres. And thirdly, from inter interrogations of federal prisoners who, when the Igbo captors have been sent out of the way, admit, quite frankly, that they are there to wipe out Igbo. That's what they admit. But what do they say, they, what did they say that their orders were? Um, they don't mention what their orders were. They don't seem to be taking any notice of orders anymore. They're taking frightful casualties, and in revenge for these casualties, they seem to be going on a blood rampage, which has nothing to do with what Lagos is saying about the rehabilitation of the Igbo and how they're all going to be treated as equal citizens of Nigeria. In other words, there is such a disparity between what Lagos is saying on the one hand and what the Federal Army is actually doing on the ground but one has to come to the conclusion either that Lagos is lying, and I don't think they are, I think they're quite sincere, or that the Federal Army of 80,000 brand new raw conscripts has gone out of control. What about the bombing um, of Biafra? Uh, the Federal Government has claimed that they've only been attacking strategic targets. Well, this is absolute nonsense. They may have given orders for the attacking of strategic targets, but the pilots they're using are almost exclusively Egyptian. And uh, I've examined too many sites of bombing raids to be of any other conclusion that almost without exception, they go straight for civilian centers. Anything that's protected by even light machine guns, they stay well away from. They just go down on schools, hospitals, and the African townships and the markets, all of which, during the course of working day, are crammed with women and children, very little else. There is other evidence. On January the 29th, the 